Doodly Tutorial, Pan and Zoom, by Solo Boss. Hi, I'm Wayne, the creator of this free video content. Nice to meet you. In just a bit, I'm going to show you content that's designed to show you 1 minute and 30 seconds of different video design techniques, try to make you laugh, all the while telling you how you can support this channel free of charge. If you're someone that feels the thousands of hours I've spent creating free content for you is not worth the 1 minute and 30 seconds of your time, simply use the chapters feature I've taken the time to create in this video and skip over it. Just move your mouse over the video timeline and click on the next chapter. For those of you that do appreciate the time I've taken, here it is and thanks for watching. Easily support this channel free of charge. Here are some methods. Click that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. This video is monetized. Let the video run all the way to the end. The ad revenue, as little as it is, helps support this channel. Join our Facebook group. You'll find a link in the description. You'll receive group status with me and other experienced doodlers and video designers ready to help. Share these videos with other people you know and even people you don't whether it's in the official Doodly Facebook group or somewhere else. The more people that watch and comment, the more videos I'll create. Join Production Crate through the link in our description. They have a free account and some of the best video designing effects I've found on the internet, along with tutorials, so you know how to use them and you can create effects like what you'll see throughout this video series. YouTubers! Reference back to our video in your video or video description. We would be appreciative of a link back to our channel or a plug in your video showing us our hard work paid off. Let us know about it so we can return the kindness. Contact us if you want to get a little more creative and learn how to pass traffic amongst channels. Working with Pan and Zoom can be a little tricky. If we take a look I've already have this set up with an image in the background. We're going to zoom in to the image and then we're going to pan across the image. Let's move this back here so we can start at the beginning. You can see I've got my show preview window up. I want to be able to see that I've got my canvas up. What you don't see in the background or you don't see here is I've got a one and a half duration and inside the settings just for the effect I have my reveal mode set to fade. In addition, I want my time, I want about 10 seconds added on to the end of the scene time. I've got everything prepared and ready for the pan and zoom. Since this takes about a minute, or I'm sorry, about a second and a half, we are going to go to about a second and a half here, but I don't want it to immediately zoom in. I want it to fade in so that people can see it. So I'm going to go about one more second, and I'm going to right click on the time bar. Right clicking gives me a more precise location to add the pan and zooming effect. Once that's added, we have to decide how long we want that zoom to take. Because the first time we're going to do, uh, we're, the first time we are going to zoom in, we have to know, okay, we want that zoom in to happen in a second and a half. Right now it's about one and a half seconds is what it's going to take to zoom in. I can click on the edge here. You can see the mouse actually, or the cursor turns into a left and right arrow. I can left click and I can drag to go to about there. And let's take that for our zoom effect. When I open by clicking on the FX there, when I open the pan and zoom settings, you can see that our start is all set to start at the full size of the image. I want it to come to about here. Now we're cutting off the uh, uh, Incredible Hulk here. So I am going to go here and we're going to cut off Bernie Sanders there. Let's open that a tiny bit more by clicking on the hand. Looks like I might have to pull it out here to open it a bit more. These are constrained proportions, which means that one, when you click on one and drag, doesn't matter what side you drag, it affects all sides. There is no way to not have constrained proportions inside Doodly at this time. This will be our zoom. It'll take about two and a half seconds to get there. So if we take a look, you can see it fades in, 
waits about a second, and then two and a half seconds it gets to zoom. Now we want to create our pan effect. I'm going to click the plus sign right here, and I want that pan effect to take, uh, again it starts out at about a second and a half, I want it to also take about, say, so let's give it two seconds as well. Now when we click on this here, we want to immediately go and drag this to the other side, the ending. Once we have that, it'll take two seconds to reach from this starting spot to this ending spot as a zoom, or I'm sorry, as a pan. Let's see that in action. We're going to fade in. Wait a second. We're going to zoom to the corner, and then we start panning. Let's say I don't like that effect. I, I want it to sit there on there just for a second. I don't want it to immediately start. So I can choose, I can drag this left and right, and we can see where it lines up. Remember, this is a very, very difficult process in Doodly, so you could use your needle on the playhead and just kind of guess that, okay, you know, that works. Let's take a look at that again. Whenever you're in Doodly, you are constantly reviewing your work over and over and over again. Here it sits, and now it starts to pan over. I like that. Now we're going to do the reverse. We're going to take about a half a second, or about, let's go one second instead of a half. A half would be about right here. Let's go one full second, and we'll right click right there. That'll give us at nine seconds we add our panning. We're going to open that up. We want it to take about two seconds. And I'm going, to, oh, I'm going to click on it to open the pan and zoom window. Now I'm just going to drag. As you can see here, it's going to start. I'm going to drag this end back. And we're going to do the same thing. Now, notice if I add another pan and zoom, I'm going to go over the timeline here. We don't want that. So I'm going to have to add more seconds on to the end of scene. So let's add, say, 15 seconds. And apply. That'll give us more time on the video timeline. We can drag, and we can see here I'm panning back. Another second and we're going to zoom back out. So I'm gonna right click here again at 12 seconds, add pan and zoom. I'm gonna drag this to, ah, uh, you gotta watch out for that. Sometimes when you touch it, look what just happened. That was a bug in Doodly. I was dragging the pan and boom, it, it mixed it into here. A control Z or undo does not fix that. So be very careful on doing things like this. So that is going to mess us up here. So I'm going to drag that back. So just be very careful. That was completely random that it went on top of this. You're not even allowed to bring it on top of that. So go two seconds. We're going to click on the FX. You can see that the green box indicates that I have actually done something in that pan and zoom, whereas the green box here it's saying, hey, you've opened me, you've, you've added me, but you haven't done anything. The start is back here, and we're going to full screen it. But right now, what we've got is we can either scrub back and forth to see what we're going to look like, or we can play it. And just for effect, I'm going to add a mask at the end to fade it out, just like I wanted to fade in. So I'm going to go one more step and show you guys this. No add. And what this is going to do is allow me, let's hide the preview, and let's increase the canvas size. To 
set that to fade and that will allow me to fade out. So let's go back to the preview and let's start that from the beginning. Fade in, zoom forward, pan, pan back, zoom out, and fade away. And there you have it. That may be it for this video, but not for the rest of the content on this channel. Hey, if this video helped you, click that subscribe button and tap that notification bell for more doodly tips and tricks. And don't forget to check out the rest of our free video tutorials on this channel.